días, buenos días. Ahora vamos. Alrighty, guys. We're leaving the hostel. San Salvador. Let's get this. Alright, guys. Time to go to the coast. We are leaving San Salvador. Spent about three days here, three full full days here. Um, hung out with Mike a lot, got some work done, and got to explore the city. I uh, I'll be I'll be honest. Um, it's not. I I, I wasn't super super impressed. Um, to to the point where I actually wouldn't come back here. And I like I hate to say that because I just don't want to be like the uh, you know I like to be able to see the good and everything I, I do believe there's always good and it's not that I like I'm so I'm upset that I came here it, it's just not a place and I'm talking specifically about the capital right now I, I wouldn't come back to uh, the downtown was extremely like run down it, it, it amazed me. For, for this being the biggest city in, in, San, in El Salvador and for their like center, their like historic center to be that run down. I actually thought it was really weird. Look at the hand, look at the hand hanging out. <laughs> Not sure if I told you guys yet, but the other night I got a random message from, from uh, Dawson this picture up right here he was like posting a picture of him in El Salvador and I was like what the heck so anyways I hit him up and he's like yeah we're he's like we're in El Salvador we got the boat we're we're sailing down here but anyways he, he invited me to go sailing again so that's that's actually where we're going right now we're going to a place called El Golfo de Fonseca and it's a really cool spot because you can see you can see El Salvador, Nicaragua, and Honduras. All all three of them right there uh, together. And there's like a whole bunch of islands. So we're gonna go uh, go do some sailing in the Gulf. It, it, you know, it's just it's not like what I did uh, down the coast of Mexico with them. That was like legit, true. You know, multi-day. You know, navigating the whole thing. These are just gonna be like fun. Go explore the islands. Um, so it's gonna be a short ride today, guys. It's uh, it's only three hours um, from the capital there. Everything in El Salvador is like right next to each other. It's like not nothing is nothing is far away. So, anyways, that's uh, that's the goal for today. Go meet up with Dawson, Nico. Josh will not be there, uh, but two other guys that I've heard, I've heard, like, heard stories about, and I, I know they're like cool guys. I, just, I haven't met them yet though, so I'm excited to meet them. They're also Canadians. Um, overall, should be a, a pretty sweet day. Guys at the dock, I guess, and then um, just 
just say hi and then take this bike to the guy I talked to on the phone today about keeping it at his place. All right, guys, we are in La Union. Thank goodness. That was a... Uh, I don't know why. It, at the end, it was a really nice ride. It was a really nice ride, but for a little bit there, I was getting, uh, I was getting a little uh, impatient. Gosh. I'm listening to Knights in White Satin right now. I don't know if motorcycles are allowed to go right there. Okay, I just texted him I'm here. Wow. Super cool, guys. I wonder where they're... Oh, there it is. It's down over there. I wonder... I mean... down it if they get mad at me then it's whatever <whistles> brethren how's it going you landed? yeah i'm landing How's my journey today? Yeah. It was great, man. Nice right. to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you. Nice to meet you too, man. Adam. Adam. Cool. Yeah. Where Dang. are you coming from today? I'm coming from the capital. Okay. Yeah, How I just came from the capital. That? that was like three hours. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't. Good scenery? Yeah, yeah, of course. Nice. Yeah, especially at the end. Especially like the last hour. Yeah. Got really nice. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Cool. Have you guys eaten? Uh, yes, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I could always eat. Yeah, I, I I would like to eat at some point. Yeah. Uh, where's? Up for dinner tonight, I, I reckon later on as well. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, we can more than um, eat something now too if you'd like. Is uh, where's where's Dawson and Nico? Uh, they're, they're just on the boat, boat, so they're gonna be here in about a few minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. He saw your message somewhere and said yeah, that yeah. he'd be here around two twenty. Yeah. Yeah, definitely easier to hide a motorcycle. Than a <laughs> exactly, especially this one's pretty small. Yeah. 200 or 400? It's, 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 Hay de fresa, leche, coco, tamarindo. Ah, okay. Yeah, they're coming now. They're heading over, I think. Like oh, yeah. Take this helmet off. I think I got a butterfly in my helmet right now. There's so many of them. Look at that. Oh, my God, you totally do. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> hey. Not a live one? It was in my helmet. Cool. Oh. It just barely flew in there. Of course, it literally looks like a leaf. Gotta take a video for, you know. The reunion. The reunion, back together. They allowed me to come back. First time it was a discussion, but we allowed it. <laughs> First time since mainland Mexico, the land has been back on board since Acapulco. We're excited. We are here in La Union in El Salvador. Who would have thought? Kind of crazy. Going to Nicaragua. And the sailboat <laughs> is right over there. All right guys, we're gonna go uh, drop this bike off and then go meet up for some dinner. 
this is where we're going to get the bike. Buenas. Usted es Elmer. Mucho gusto, soy Landon. ¿Qué tal? <laughs> Esta es la moto. Sounds good. Just got all our groceries done. Ice, food, food for a week. Si, es una tabla de surf. friends today's gonna be a fun day guys it's super super exciting day we are going to go hike that mountain up there volcano um it's called the spiritu de la montaña and looking forward to it well uh we're just gonna be in town again today exploring around and we'll take you guys for the ride so here we go sailing we are a uh, sail trip number two uh, I hope I hope these don't bother you guys, but at the end of the day, I want to show you guys the whole the whole trip, not just motorcycle, but I want to show you the whole the whole experience of of this. So here we go, guys. That was actually insane that I got that to work because there's no electricity right now. I couldn't upload my video my my computer was dead <laughs> anyways luckily i found a spot uh with pollo campero that i was able to uh charge the computer so one of my favorite things guys here in uh well in guatemala is where i first saw it and el salvador <laughs> these little babies it's 500 milliliters and uh just little water packets 10 cents, 10 cents here in El Salvador for, you know, to get a liter of water for, liter of water for 20 cents, which is really nice. And, uh, <laughs> you know, for all the, the one-time plastic user haters, sorry, but it's a way that they can buy water like this and have it at an affordable price. So it's pretty cool. I got everything done. Now just here at the dock with the boys that are coming and uh, we're gonna go we're gonna go hike a volcano right now. So it's a carro americano. Maybe it's americano. Like, yeah, actually... I know, but we're like also in areas where we're like like yeah. screwed up. Hola. Hola. La 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 No, solo nosotros. Thank you, Nico. <laughs> well, we were walking up, and then a guy came and uh, offered us a free ride up. So now we're in the back of this thing. Free ride. Check out, check out these old, uh, 
these old airplane seats. <laughs> old airplane seats. Yo! This is cool. Very cool. What a, what a spot, eh? What? Oh, look at these! Little bed mattresses? The peak of this mountain is about, is about 4,000 feet. Amazing views up top. We, we probably spent about two hours just hanging out there on those platforms. They actually had like these cushions. And so we just laid, we had like four of these cushions and we're just all laying out, kind of being lazy together, telling stories on these little cushions. It was really fun. Um, anyways, back to La Union. We'll probably go get some food right now. And go hang out on the boat and uh, get ready for tomorrow. Tell us what we're looking at right now. Looking, tell, tell the people what we're seeing right now. I'm looking at a bag of water truck. <laughs> Dude, these are the a bigger... bag of bags <laughs> of water. Mm. Two, two trucks. I want one of these trucks, dude. What, what kind of truck? Here, let's go. I want some water. All right, guys, good morning. Today's the day. We are leaving La Union. We're actually leaving El Salvador today and we're going to Honduras, right, right over there. So we're going into immigration and we're gonna fill out our uh, Zarpa. Don't ask me what that is exactly. I just know it's for boats and it's really fun to say. And uh, yes, yeah, so we got all our passports, all our, uh, anyways, we're gonna go see if we can get that all squared away, hopefully it goes smooth. Yeah, start actually uh, sailing, discovering the Gulf of uh, Gulf of Fonseca a little bit more, actually a, a lot more.
¿Cómo lo fue la pesca? El problema es de que la pesca no todos los días da. Hay, parte, hay veces que se queda una semana. No vale la pena. Ajá, a veces. No, claro, no vale la pena. Sí. Like OG. That's high elevation and it was going crazy. Where the cracks all right away. Oh, yeah, dude. There's a. I could. I, I thought. I literally feel like I could smell it. In Burning. Mexico, where it's dry. No, it's in Guatemala. It's in Guatemala. No, it was on a. It was recently. It was on the volcano. That was the highest point up there. I was camping up there like an idiot. Well, guys, trying to find this beach. And uh, we've been bushwhacking for an hour. It's down there. Some horses, just cutting through some tall grass. <laughs> it's on some random island in El Salvador. Trying not to fall down this hill. So it is pretty steep, actually. There are some cow trails, thank goodness. Going for it, Nico? Okay. <laughs> there you go, Dawson. We made it, guys. Remote beach on an island in El Salvador. That's just the open Pacific out there. Take my shirt off and get in this water. Very, very much worth the bushwhacking, guys. Private beach, black sand, black sands, here with the boys. Getting some sun on the body, it's been a while. Amazing. No one out here, just super remote island beach. Incredible. Turn, turn around for us, big guy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, How long yeah. can he go? Wow, wow. Eso. Tito, mira pues. Tito. Everyone knows Tito. 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 Nice. Wait, <laughs> wait. Él quiere hacer lo otro. Uy. Uy. Wow, it's gone down a ton. These are kids we were playing soccer with right here. Sí, ya. Ya vamos a echar este lunch. ¿Mande? Si quiere, vamos. Yeah. Oh, ahí era otro isla, ajá, y después de ahí dormir, ah, sí. Es que tenemos, nos toca ir ya. Got some ice. Mm. Ah, there's the drunk guy. <laughs> yeah. Storms are coming. Storms are coming. We all secretly like this. It's actually really scary. It's really scary? Yeah, like look at it. That's gonna hit hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. There's the wind right there. Here it comes the wind. Yep. We're not making it. We're not gonna make it, Captain!
morning, my guys. We are here on Tigre Island here in Honduras. We just checked in, um, checked the, got the boat checked in, got our passport stamped, and now we're gonna go explore this island. We got the boys over here, look at them, look at them. Doing the touristy things, taking pictures with the signs. Look how cute they look though. We've just been walking around, exploring the island. It's not a super big island. I think right now we just walked like four miles, three, but pretty far, it's hot. We're just going off like a suggestion a guy said. He's like, it's the best beach on the island. So we will see right now, Playa Negra. All right, we just kind of rinsed off a little bit. And now we're going to uh, go get some food, some much, much needed food. Doss and I are going to go pick up the port captain and the head of immigration for here in Honduras. They, uh, they're in pants. They wanted to go on the boat and uh, just see what, a, uh, see what a sailboat was like. So we're picking them up right now. I could, we could, I could carry them too. I'll go sing that. Made it to Nicaragua, guys! Nicaragua! Well, guys, change of events here. There is a hurricane coming, which is crazy because there's only one ever hurricane reported in the history of like recording time of a hurricane hitting the coast of Nicaragua. They normally never make it this, this low. Um, and so there's really not even like a ton of suggestions on where to go. We were kind of watching an eye roll, you know, as it was developing out in the ocean, further in the Pacific. And then last night we were doing some good research on it and um, it's coming, yeah. So we're cutting this trip short. I'm gonna get off today. It's a little bit earlier than I than what we had kind of planned on. There's the boat right there. And um, yeah, the boys are going to make a jump down the coast of Nicaragua, just getting further down um, because it's looking like it's going to touch land um, kind of close to right here, where we're at right now, which is the, the Gulf of Fonseca. So it's looking where it's most likely gonna, gonna touch base. So crazy, crazy, really cool. Um, I learned a ton last night with Dawson as we were watching, uh, he's teaching me about how to read all the wind patterns and the low pressure zones and kind of how to get a better idea of, you know, if it interacts, if the weather system interacts with the Atlantic side, what that means. Um, we didn't see a correlation with the Atlantic side, which is good in terms of it pulling, pulling air across uh, across the land to kind of make like more of like the papagayos that is what they call them and so anyways now we're here in Nicaragua and I am going to try to find a lancha a little tiny boat to take me back to El Salvador kind of like halfway illegally they do it it's like kind of like a normal thing but um I don't think it's like 100% legal what they do because they don't go through Honduras but it's yeah, we'll see. So I'm going to try to go find that. Might help these guys with their paperwork a little bit. And that's what we've got going on today. So. Oh, gross. 